Yes, fun fact Friday. So what are we learning about today, Darius? I have a pop quiz for you, Tanya. Uh-oh. Uh, yes. Um, let me ask you, who's older? Oh. <laughs> I see. Yeah. I didn't see that monitor. Wow. I'm going to hope it's the one in the blue jacket, but hey, you never know. <laughs> Could be wrong. Uh, yes. Well, uh, I have some bad news, actually. This is Scotty the T-Rex, the world's largest T-Rex in Saskatchewan, and he's also the world's oldest T-Rex fossil ever found. And he died at around 28, 29. And since you are 29, Tanya, oh, that yes. does mean that you are older. And that is actually the average age of a T-Rex. They died before 30. So you'd expect that these massive dinosaurs had a pretty long life to grow that big, but they didn't at all. They died pretty early. Uh, so actually, most people, many of us, are in fact older than the dinosaurs because even the uh, longest lived dinosaurs lived to maybe 40, 50. I think the oldest fossil we found is 70. And how do we know this? We look and look at, uh, cut, a, cut open a dinosaur bone, look at the cross section, and much like a tree, uh, if you cut down a tree and look at the stump, you can see the growth ring. So they're much more densely packed towards the middle because you grow a lot faster when you're young. Once you reach adulthood, they become, or sorry, no, they're much more spaced out in the middle, there we go, because they're growing more in those years. And by the time they get out to the end, they're much more closely packed because you're not growing as much in those years. It took me a minute to figure it out, but I got there. <laughs> uh, and then I just have more graphics because I think they're pretty, but that's all I have to tell you. Well, hey, very generous with the 29. Thank you uh, for that and a very fun fact indeed. Thanks, Darius. Thank you.